friends in this case the people has not dilated well and while emulsification of nuclear fragments will be done the people will become very small let's see how we can manage this case by this time the main incision and on side port on the left side of the main incision has been made an air bubble has been injected into the antechamber now this is trypan blue dye going to stain the anterior capsule and now I'm injecting little bit of adrenaline to see if the pupil dilates little more and yes after washing the dye out of the anterior chamber I can see that the pupil has dilated little more and this will help me a lot in doing capsular excess now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and now I'm going to do capsulorexis the anterior capsule is incised with this 26 case bend needle and now a iterata forceps is taken the flap is sealed with the iterata forceps I go anti-clockwise and complete the CCC. Now hydro dissection is to be done and this has to be done with very much caution. Little bit of fluid is injected, the nucleus is tapped this hydro dissection is done from the opposite side also and the nucleus is tapped again and now you can see that the nucleus is rotating very nicely again viscoelastic substance is injected and now is the time to introduce the FECO handpiece the tip of the FECO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Cataryx 3. The patient is under topical anesthesia and see what happens during emulsification of the nuclear fragments. What I am planning is direct chop, pushing the nucleus down a little bit burying the tip into the substance of the nucleus, holding the nucleus very nicely and this is vertical chop. Dividing the nucleus anteroposteriorly can be called vertical chop. And this nuclear fragment is being emulsified. Since the cataract is soft I'm sure I'll be able to manage this case with this size of people. But if the cataract is very hard, I don't take chances. I don't take the risk of doing very hard cataracts when the people is small. I use hooks or some kind of people expansion device and this is one heminucleus it is sealed and it is chopped like this I was fortunate to have a brittle nucleus in this case you see this time the people has become really small it is about 3 millimeter in size and I am staying right at the center of the people and emulsifying the fragments. That's it. The nucleus is removed. Now viscoelastic substance is injected into the antechamber and now I have to use some device to remove this cortical matter. Since I made only one side port I'm using this 
instrument simco cannula and going under the iris catching hold of the cortex pulling it towards the center and removing it going to the side port now and removing the rest of the cortical matter that's it the cortex has been removed however i must check with some instrument to see if there is any cortex is there or not if there is some cortex hidden by the iris or not we must check it so there is an instrument whose shape is like the letter oi after injecting viscoelastic substance i am going to use that instrument to check if there is any cortical matter remaining anywhere here it is viscoelastic substance has been injected and now with this y shaped instrument I retract the iris and check if there is any cortex anywhere go through the side port and check the sub incisional area so i could check and i have found out that there is no cortex anywhere so i am implanting an intraocular lens this is a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens so the lens has gone into the capsular bag but still i am having a check if it is if it has gone into the capsular bag or not yes it has gone into the capsular bag that's it now the viscoelastic substance that has been used is being thoroughly removed the visco behind the eye well that is what is there in the capsular bag what is there in the anterior chamber everything is nicely removed at this time since the irrigation is going to the main incision must check if it is if the anterior chamber becomes shallow or not this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now i hydrate the side port with bss and then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber so we have managed the case well without using any pupil expansion device thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills